I want to present this lesson not because if you don't get it you're going to fail or um, because it's part of the curriculum but simply because it is really an easy topic to understand and it is very useful later on if you do get this. This is a formula for the principal or the past value. Now, what do, what do I mean? I'm talking about financial mathematics, of course, and we're looking at the compound interest. Oh, actually, let's look at both. For simple interest, we have a following formula, where n is, where this is a linear um, relationship between the future value and uh, the time period. Okay, And in this we can see if we wanted to solve P, if we wanted to get the principal or the past value on its own, we simply need to divide with the bracket on both sides. And that gives us a new formula of my principal equal to my future value divided by my interest quotient. Okay, or simply, since I am dividing with that bracket, I may simply multiply with that bracket, but just give it a negative exponent. Okay, that might be one way of looking at it. And there we go. Uh, there we go. There's a formula for the principal value of the simple interest formula. How about the compound interest formula? And this is the one that's going to be most useful. Okay, so here we go. And the whole process is exactly the same. There's nothing really different. All I'm going to do is divide with a bracket that is multiplying P. So 1 plus I, but there's not just one bracket. There are N of them. They I divide with N of them. So 1 plus I to the power of N. And this then simplifies to this very useful formula that the principal value is my future value. The power of negative one. Now, um, this formula has the ability to consider the future value or the past value of time uh, of uh, money. Okay. So, for example, if I were to have get a thousand rand in the future, sometime in the future, let's say in two years. I will get a thousand rand. In whatever way, how much is that thousand rand worth right now? Okay. So if my future value is a thousand rand, and the question is how much is that worth right now? So obviously that depends on the time period, as well as the interest that I could be earning if I had the money immediately. So let's look at that specific example. Let's say we could earn an interest um, of, let's say, 5% compounded annually, sorry, not compounded, per annum, compounded monthly. Per annum, compounded monthly. So here's our formula that we are now going to use to solve it. We've got that my future value, my present value, uh, my present value is equal to my future value 1 plus i to the power of negative n. Where my future value is a thousand rand, that is what I'm going to get in two years time. Okay. Now my interest. And once again, please remember, interest is not per annum, it's per term. So how much interest am I earning each term that I'm getting interest? Well, in this case, I get my interest monthly. It was compounded monthly. But per annum, I get 5%. Which means my monthly interest will be 5% divided by 12 or 5 divided by 1200 because I must divide percentage means divide by another 100 so I'm actually dividing by 1200 my time period 
or n represents the number of times I would have got an interest, which means I get it in two years. Each year I would get it 12 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And, and in total it should be 24. I get it 24 times because in two years I get it 12 times each year. And now that into my formula turns me 1,000 rand, 1 plus 5 over 1,200 to the power of negative 24. The negative is almost suggesting the direction in which I'm going on my timeline. Okay, It means I'm going in that direction. If I were to have a positive there, I would be going in that direction. In other words, asking what would that hundred, uh, that thousand rand be worth in two, after two years. Now I'm going back in time, what was it year worth two years prior? And then, using my calculator, I get a, I simply get a thousand multiplied in brackets by one plus five over twelve hundred close brackets to the power of 24 have negative, negative 24, and we get that it would be worth 905 rand and 3 cents, 905 rand and 3 cents, after rounding to two decimal places. I think it's a very simple formula, it's just summarize my simple interest present value formula, is my future value 1 plus i to the power negative 1 and for compound interest it would be 1 plus i to the power of negative a. There we go, I hope you found it uh, easily understood and please use this formula. Um, only if you understand it though, as you continue to, um, to solve some problems involving the present value. Good luck.